the stuff you see from the factory, look at these ring terminals just squished in here. My favorite is the middle one. At least these other two are tight, but man, that's pretty poor. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna have to redo those connections somehow. I don't even know if I have parts for that. I gotta get this unit started up. This is a brand new unit, came like this. I don't have a crimper for number six wire and I don't have crimps for a number six wire and I don't think I can get either of those in any sort of reasonable amount of time. I've also thought about getting some sort of lugs to put on these screws to terminate the wires, but I don't have those. And there again, will these screws be long enough to put a lug on there? Cause the thickness of any of the lugs I've ever seen is significant. So I got a way I'm gonna fix this in the field and maybe some people won't agree with it or make fun of me, but that's fine. So comment below how you'd fix it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. What we did to fix this is I chopped these off to roughly far back as I could. I'm going to trim the ears off that one a little bit more. I went through with a pilot bit and then a drill bit that was slightly bigger than these screws. Like very, I don't want these to thread through there, but I, I want to get as much surface area touching as possible. So that's what we're going to have to go with on this repair. I believe that this is going to create good contact. It's not ideal, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So let me get these all landed on the terminals back where they go and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And there you have it. Better than factory, right? Because factory is pretty lacking in this situation. So I'm gonna get this all tightened back up, get this all wired back correctly. I had this holding my solenoid open because I didn't have a magnet up here with me. So obviously I have power unapplied right now, but I'm gonna turn this back on. I have the wire pulled off the contactor to keep that solenoid open. I don't know if that electronic valve is open. Interesting issues, something to watch out for. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.